Right, here we be <laughs> in Brixham. Just for the oh, sorry, oh, so Kingsway. Kingsway. We just got off the bus in Kingsway. See, I don't even know where I am. We just got off the bus in Kingsway, looking down over towards the railway line and Dartmouth, and now we can start our walk. We start off with a beautiful view over towards Dartmouth. Absolutely gorgeous. And apparently, thanks to the lovely bus driver, we now know we've got a big hill to climb later. Another little bit of Dartmouth. Directions, we came down this huge great lot of steps all the way up there, only to find that the coast path shut and now we've got to climb them again. Typical. So far, we've been down three steep bits and up three steep bits. <laughs> and now we're walking through the woods. At least in a cracking walk. All right, bud. <laughs> yeah, this bit is all right, isn't it? Finding lots of burnt down trees throughout the woods here as well as if I come over here beautiful secluded cove which if you've got a boat will be absolutely brilliant wouldn't it your own private beach for the afternoon but look at that absolutely gorgeous This all appears to be, that must have been an ammunition store uh, feeding guns down here. Uh, these rails here must have been how they took the ammunition down to the guns. And hopefully when we get down here, the coast path will continue along from the bottom here. Uh, very interesting, this is brownstone battery. Gun there, and then more steps as we go along the coast path. Okay, now we're inside one of the batteries. And you can see that the view they have to cover right entrance to Dartmouth, right over towards Slapton Sands. We're gonna have to climb that hill in a minute. And it looks like we're down a bay, so it'll be a long climb up. But isn't this beautiful? Until right, we get to Rob. Well, this is gonna be our view for lunch when the old boy gets here. This is really steep. We've been walking two hours up and uphill and down dale. And here comes the old boy, look. Bench. A bench, mate. That was a climb and a half, wasn't it? Two and a quarter miles from Mountain Sands. And we've got the beautiful view out to sea. And now we've come around the corner, we can see all the way out near Exmouth and Sidmouth and the Jurassic Coast at the distance. So we've just come all the way down that lot there. Beautiful view of the sea. We come around the corner and we've got to climb that one. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Walking up this hill and some horses for the boss. 
morning horses you have to say hello to the boss that's it smile <sighs> hello yeah not too keen going around your back end I must say hello how are you you all right yeah you you could have found a flatter place boys and girls you would know you come around you come around a corner and you suddenly see something like that beach down there it just comes out of nowhere oh there's my boat yeah i'd have one of them look wild coast bath dog Beautiful. We've just come down that and we're climbing this. And then this is what it's been like this whole walk today. We get to the top of this, we get a bit of down and then we got to climb that. <sighs> We're at Wood Hoish and Mansands. <sighs> a little cove with a little beach. What a lovely place to live. Unfortunately, it also means that hopefully that is the last big, big hill we have to climb because it looks like it eases off a bit after that. I hope so, because we're all healed out today. Right. Here we are at Man Sands. Lovely looking beach. Weird that hill we got to climb. Look at that, isn't that nice? Man Sands down there. Climbed up part of the way up the hill. This apparently is the longest and steepest hill. That is level. And that's not even the top. It is exhausting. Hopefully after this, it's a fairly easy walk the rest of the way to Brixham. Another amazing Hidden Cove. Knackered now, mate. <laughs> yeah, you can see how many hills we've climbed up and down. Looking down there, that's been a steep or one. We're on the last two or three mile stretch to Brixham and it looks like now we might be fairly flattish. I think we've uh, done all the big hills. Huge Whitfield, all the cows massed in one space. Plenty of room. Isn't that weird? Another beautiful view, and she's behind me. Look at that. Strange thing to find on the coast path. Look at this. Another bay. So, me and Rob finally walking down the lanes towards Brixham. We are suitably cream crackered. We really. It's, the app says about 10 miles, but it's been up so many hills and down many, so many hills. We've actually been walking for seven hours, apart from a, a couple of coffee breaks. So seven hours walking, and this definitely goes down as the hardest walk we've, uh, we've ever done. But look at that now, coming around the corner, you see Tor Bay, look at that. What a view. Some lovely view of the marina. Our car's over there somewhere. And this walk seems never ending. Nine o'clock this morning, we passed this on the way to the bus. It's now five o'clock and we've just got back to it. That's us finally back to the car park, and there's the car over there. 
uh, it's basically taken, we started walking at 5 to 10 when we got off the bus and it is now 25 past 5 so that is a long time admittedly we did just add 20 minutes of it because we did stop for a pint in a pub in Brixham because we earned it but toughest walk we've ever done and looking over there towards Tor Bay, we're going to get in our car just in time because there's a bit of rain coming in. So that's Kingsweir to Brixham finished. And this goes into the category of we've done this one now. We don't have to do it again. Is that right, Rob? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Is that right, mate? We've done this one now. We don't have to do it again.